Hey guys, it is Rachel and welcome back. Today I thought I would do something a little bit differently. I want to go through all of these and see what I've got and inventory this and confess to the world what I have. <laughs> We're going to be doing perfumes, lotions, and candles that I have currently in my collection. So let's just go ahead and get started because we're going to have a lot to go through. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with perfumes. And I'm gonna do the big bottles first. So I'm gonna start with the one that is oldest to me. This is Marc Jacobs Daisy. I had a friend who, this was like her signature scent, and I ended up falling in love with this, and I really, really wanted it. And so my husband, well, he was my boyfriend at the time, but my, for our first Christmas, he ended up buying this for me. Oh, her wedding is the place that I actually met my husband at, so, and I, I think I wore this on, on her wedding day, like she had it, and she let us all wear it, and I have such sweet memories of <laughs> that. Okay, I'm not going to get sappy. Okay, so this is a floral scent, obviously there's flowers on the top of it. You can see how much I've used. This is... Our first Christmas was six years ago, so this is how much I've actually used of it. Um, I actually tend to go ham on this perfume because it doesn't last on my skin very long. But I love the fragrance. But I, if I'm going to wear it on a day where I can't touch up, I don't tend to wear this because it, it just like disappears off of me. The notes here are strawberry, violet, and jasmine. I don't know which one it is that I'm in love with so much. But I like this. I don't, I haven't really liked any of the other Daisy scents except for this original one. Okay, so this isn't a full size of perfume, but this is a perfume nonetheless. It's not a rollerball and it's not a purse thing. This is the Victor and Rolf, it's petite because it's small, Bon Bon. I got this at Ulta. I spent part of my budget in April on this. This was like $50. And I had gotten this as a sample from Sephora and I used the whole sample in like two days. I, I fell in love with this perfume. It, ooh, mmm. <laughs> My favorite scents and perfume tend to be the very heavy, like sensual, sexy, like woodsy things. This, this, this one, that's weird. So Sephora is saying that this is also floral and fruity. I, I, I'm gonna disagree because it's very like heavy and floral scents tend to be, I think a little more brighter. And this is very, this kind of reminded me of the YSL Black Opium, the same like scent family. It's keynotes are caramel. That's how we say it in Texas where I'm from, <laughs> mandarin and orange blossom. I guess it's the caramel that makes it so heavy. I, mm, this is a really, really good date night perfume. I, I love it. It's, it's fantastic. Okay, next I have my newest addition to my collection. This is the Juicy, oh, Okay, so it's not on the bottle. The Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Rosé. Every single time that I would go into Ulta or Sephora, well, mainly Ulta because we don't have Sephora in my town, but every time I'd go into Ulta, I would spray myself with perfume that I didn't own, and it would be this one. I would want it. I, I didn't want to buy a rollerball of this because with the Juicy scents, they the rollerball for this was only half of a rollerball like i don't know why but the the extra juicy scents that they have in rollerballs like unless it's like the one of the originals they pair their scents with an original scent and that's not what i want i wanted this i found this on zoo lily for like 23 dollars this puppy right here which on sephora is on sale is it the same Side. Yes, on Sephora, this is on sale for $80, so I got this for $23. You bet I used part of my budget on this. But okay, so 
well, I just told you part of my next video. But anyway, this, I'm not a big fan. I should take that off. I will. I'm not a big fan of this thing on here. But this, aww. It's, it's a sweet scent, guys. I don't know what family this is in. It doesn't really say. And I, I didn't think that I was going to be a fan of Rose. But, man, I am. It's, mmm. It's like a it's like a floral scent. It's a very fresh. It's very like a breath of fresh air. You just walk in the door and ah. Uh. So it's notes. It's it says our Italian Mandarin, William Pear, Jasmine Petals, Rose Centifolia Absolute. I hope I said that right. White Peony, Jasmine something. I can't pronounce that. Oris Absolute, Benzoin, and Ambrox. That's a lot. But it says it's style is sparkling, charming, and exuberant, which I agree with. In fact, I'm going to spray myself because... Mmm. Mmm. This reminds me of something that I had in... My childhood. I don't know what it is. I've had my eye on this for years and I finally, finally got it. Excellent. We're going to do my smaller versions of perfume next. I have a whole lot of samples, but I'm not going to go through those. We'll be here for forever. So, rollerballs and sprays. This, I just actually ended up buying... I'm uh, buying. This was less than I thought it was going to be. I ended up getting one thing from Sephora, and I cashed in points. This is 250 points. And... Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay. So, this is Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I can't even smell it. There it is. So I finished this, okay, first of all, can you see that? <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. But I had finished a rollerball and I put it in my empties video and I, and I was like, it was free and I'm like, I'm gonna put that back in my collection because oh my gosh, I love this perfume. Now I know that they make this in like men's and women's fragrances. It's very androgynous, but it's one of my favorites is in the fresh citrus category. It's very fresh and very citrusy. Its notes are citrus, apple, and bamboo, which I would agree with. I think I said in my empties video that I felt like it smelled like lemongrass a little bit, and it's it's awesome. I have, I didn't put this in my video, but I have a lot of memories tied to this perfume. I, I wore it a lot when I was teaching in Houston, and I have, Fond memories of my team mostly mostly my my other teachers and I will always have this in my collection I also I'm gonna pan this I'm almost out this is the juicy I am juicy couture rollerball this then it's it's supposed to be sensual but it's really really sweet it says its notes are Palmello, raspberry, passion fruit, gardenia, rose, pea, sweet pea, and a whole bunch of others. I'm not going to keep going. There's amber in there too. But this is like candy. This is... This might be too much for some people. This is very, very... Like candy sweet. So, I don't use this a whole lot. It also doesn't really last on my skin. So I only use it so often. Uh, okay, so these are more lesser known. This is Forever Red from Bath and Body. I don't know what the notes are in here because Bath and Body, it's, it's different. It's just very, very different. This, mm. <laughs> oh, this is a very sweet scent. This is the actual perfume. Um, mm. My, the okay, so the story with this is that my then boyfriend, who's now my husband, we did our whole relationship long distance. So the first time I flew out to see him, I was, I wore this. And this is his favorite fragrance of all my fragrances. And it's tied to that first trip we took together. We went to Atlantic City. He was living in Jersey. We went to Atlantic City that weekend. And um, 
I was I was sad when they took this these little things away because they I they, they come back with them every so often. But I actually have fragrance mist. I'll tell you about just so it's always in my collection. But good memories here. And I also have a perfume spray. This is called In the Stars from Bath and Body. It doesn't say anything about what it smells like. I don't know what notes are in this. <laughs> I ended up going to, on a... At Christmas? Or Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. To Bath and Body Works with my mother-in-law. We all had, we both had coupons at the wazoo. It was like candle sales and it was basically, I had a, a coupon and this was free. And um, I like the scent. It's, stars is a good name for it. I think of stars when I think of this. I'm smelling it and it's closed. <laughs> I have three scents here from Toka. I got these as a gift from a colleague the one that I've used the most, I've got, well, let's see. Okay, first of all, I've got Bridget, Cleopatra, and Colette. And the one that I've used the most is Colette. That's this this periwinkle one here. Um, it smells ish. Okay, I don't like these. Um, I don't I don't like these. They they they're a little too Ooh, no. They're very grandma scents. Does that make sense to some of you guys? They're very Chanel. And they don't last very long on my skin. So, I'm not going to look those up or go into them because I don't even like them. And lastly, I have, I don't even know where I, this came from. I don't know anything about this other than it just says pure vanilla. And that's exactly what it is. It is a very pure vanilla, like vanilla extracty scent. And I don't really wear this awful lot. I like vanilla, but I don't think it lasts very long on my skin. I don't even know. It doesn't even have a brand. I don't know where this came from. Uh, let's do, like, body sprays next. This first one is the Island Vanilla from Pacifica. I don't know why I bought this. This was before my no, my no buy, and I don't even like this. It's kind of glittery. Like, it's milky looking, and... I like vanilla, but I think I've come to find that I'm not a vanilla body splash person. It's just okay. Okay, so the next th few things I've got are Bath and Body Works. This is Bright Autumn Blooms. I like this scent. This scent is... This smells... I don't know. Like, it's not an autumn scent to me. This is like transitioning in between summer and fall. For me. Plus it's pink. So, so I told you guys about Forever Red, so I'm not going to go into it. I have a huge, big bottle. This I got in one of those sales where it was like for body care or whatever. And so that I could keep this scent around all the time since my husband loves it so so much i also recently they had a sale and they had one of their it was their 75 percent off sale and i got this in cocktail dress it was 75 percent off i fell in love with this scent this is a very like manly woman scent i don't know what it is about this this smell but it reminds me of something in my, my teenage years. It was a smell that I had, and I, it might have been from Bath & Body Works. You know how they like to repackage things. But that's why I bought this, is because it smells like something. It reminds me of being like 14 years old at summer camp. But why would I wear it when you're 14? This is not a summer scent. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Look at this beautiful packaging. Glitter. Little bow gorgeous this is called fragrance lock this is my second bottle of this so what I will do is when I wear perfume and I'm gonna be gone all day 
I will put the perfume on, let it dry, and then I will put this on and let it dry, and it makes your um, perfume last longer. I think I got this at Ulta. Let's get into my, like, body lotions. I only have three. This is not going to include my non-scented body lotions that I actually use in, like, in the shower and things like that. This is, like, scented body lotions. First one is a mini size of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. And I'm almost done with this. And it's starting to lose its luster. Um... It smells like vanilla cupcakes, but I don't know. Now, I have this in the hand cream, and I enjoy the hand cream more than I enjoyed this. Everybody loves this, but, and I, I my, even my husband loves this, but there is something about this scent that reminds me of stinky feet, and I don't know what it is. I, I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'm not going to repurchase this because... I might repurchase the hand cream. The hand cream is really nice. But for what you get and what you pay, this is too expensive. The last two lotions I bought at the same time. So I got a deal on Mother's Day. When I went in for Mother's Day gifts for my mother and my mother-in-law, they had a body care thing. I, I got lots and I had a coupon. So I had lots of things on sale and I ended up getting this lotion it takes me a, a million and a half years to even use up a lotion, especially a scented. Stop it! Especially a scented lotion. And I didn't know my mother in law was going to buy me a lotion. We actually ended up buying each other the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, I'll share in just a second. So, this is Papaya Paradise Cove. And this actually, these actually do tell you what is in it. It's fresh papaya, star fruit water, honeysuckle, passion flower, and amber. It's got shea moisture, vitamin E, shea moisture. That's, that's hair care. Shea butter, vitamin E, and aloe. This is my favorite kind of, of lotion. It's got shea butter in it. Mmm. This is very fruity, like almost... I know it doesn't say cherry, but it's almost cherry smelling. Mm, I love this stuff. This is the thing that I will use on my legs after I'm done shaving. If it's not during the night. I don't put scented lotions on before I go to bed because then I can't sleep. That includes hand lotions. But this is, this is fantastic. I love this. This is very summer for me. Now, <laughs> this is the new scent from Bath & Body Works. This is Gingham. And then... I'm glad that I knew before going in there. I just found out gingham is the pattern. This has a fresh blend of blue floral, crisp, clean fruits. So its keynotes are blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. I don't like this as much, but um, it's all right. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of grape. Just a little bit. I don't know how long this is going to take for me to go through these two. I think I'm going to probably end up getting tired of these before I move on to something else. This is why I don't buy lotions for myself. My, my mother-in-law is such a sweet, sweet woman and I love her to, to pieces. But she always buys me bath and body works things so I never really need to... They always tend to be lotions and body washes. She did get me this in a body wash. I actually really like it. It's like a creamy, lotiony body wash. So uh, I'm good on body wash and lotion for a really long time. <laughs> oh, I love you, Donna. <laughs> okay. All right. Lastly, let's do candles. Let's do candles. I am going to start out with this Yankee candle. I, I did. This got. Okay. So this is the sparkling cinnamon. I don't. Um, I don't burn this candle unless it's the holidays. I don't think I need to tell you what sparkling cinnamon smells like. It's Christmas to me. Now, you can see there's no wick in here. Something happened. Something happened to this candle. I, my husband and I, I've had this candle for a while. My husband and I, we, well, it's called, he's in the military, it's called PCSing. 
and it stands for permanent change of station. So we were stationed in New Jersey and now we're stationed in Oklahoma. So we were moving and the military will move for you. So this was packed. They packed this. I didn't take this with me. Or maybe I did. No, I didn't. So what happened was is that we had to be temporarily assigned in between both of those places. We were in Texas temporarily for six months. And what they do is they only allow you to, the, the, the military will only, they, they split your stuff up. You don't get to take all of your stuff to the temporary place. They will send most of your things to your permanent station and then when you get there, you can bring the rest with you. We were only like, we only took like 600 pounds, I think, of stuff to Texas. And the rest was in a warehouse in Oklahoma from October to April. This candle melted. It was like all melty on the side and I didn't want to get rid of it. So luckily I have a candle warmer and that's how I ended up doing this, is that I would just warm it up with the candle warmer at Christmas. The rest of my candles are from Bath and Body Works. Um, let's start with this one. Oh, okay. I have to be careful with this because I burned this today and so it is, uh, it's still a little warm. This is the Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla with essential oils. It, on the bottom says ground cinnamon, I love this about Bath and Body, ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, vanilla bean with essential oils. And it is a soy candle. This smells to me like cinnamon toast crunch or you know when you okay you know those those um those nuts that you can get at like uh, a game a ball game or at a mall that are like coated in cinnamon and sugar and they just take up the whole like I'm from I'm a native Texan and so there's this awesome um, convenience store called Bucky's there in Texas that is beyond belief and they always have these like nuts and it always smells delicious so I, I uh, oh. my mother-in-law has this in a large size and I couldn't find a large size this past year I, I had to get a small one I it doesn't, however, this particular, just because this is a single wick, it doesn't scent throw the my entire living room. So what I'll end up doing is I keep it in here where I film, and so I, I burned it today while I was getting ready. So it's taking me a while to go through this because I don't have it in my actual living room where I normally burn candles, but this is delicious. And Okay, recent acquisition that I bought at the sale as well. I ended up getting like a hundred and something bucks worth of stuff for like $25 there the other day with their sale. This says San Francisco. However, this is not San Francisco. Sometimes Bath & Body Works will do this where they assign scents, their signature scents to like a city. Um, I've never been to San Francisco or California for that matter. This is Endless Weekend. I like Endless Weekend. Um, I think one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works is Beautiful Day, and Endless Weekend is like a really close second to that. This, it's got mandarin, magnolia, coconut water with essential oils. I like this. It's a very summer scent. However, what I tended to notice is that it's not true to the wax when you burn it. I think the the candle like when you burn this it comes off the scent throw anyway comes off a little more smoky and so i still like it but it's not true to its actual scent does that make sense but i still like it okay time for big candles this i bought for my birthday this is the key lime pie Here's the thing. Woo! Okay. This is an actual candle where I wouldn't even have to burn this puppy. It would just fill up the whole room. My eyes are burning. It would fill up the whole room. <laughs> um, I wouldn't have to burn it. Now, I haven't, I, I bought this on my birthday. My birthday's in February. And I had recently, 
actually uh, probably right around my birthday, found out I was pregnant. Now, when I went and bought this for my birthday, because I had a gift card, I smelled it, I loved it, I smelled it in the store, my husband smelled it in the store, we brought it home, we burned it, and then I got sick. It was way too strong, and I, I got pregnant sick all over the bathroom. So, it has taken me, I can stand it now, but it has taken me months to even open this again, otherwise I might, you know. Um, the reason why I ended up buying this though is that my husband and I, for our wedding uh, two years ago, in our wedding cake, we, we actually got married in, I might do a, st a whole story on that, but we actually got married in Orlando, where he's from, at one of the Disney resorts. And our wedding cake had key lime pie filling. And if you're from Florida, key lime pie is like their thing. So this reminds me of my wedding, the key lime, which is why I bought it. Next, I have two of the same. So I'm only gonna talk about one because I, because I have two. I think this is a candle day acquisition as well. This is not an easy one to find. This is pistachio ice cream. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I love this smell. And I don't know why. So it's got roasted pistachio, almond extract, and vanilla extract. This is my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. I found this candle last spring around the, like, the Mother's Day sales. And what happened was, like I said, I we had, we had been in Texas and then we'd moved to Oklahoma. However, um, th things, things happened to where I needed to move to Oklahoma without my husband f for a few weeks while he finished up work in Texas. And um, I ended up having this candle and, and burning it in the house. And it was so warm and comforting and springy to me. And I was setting up the house while I was um, un unboxing things and getting the house all set up. And it was the first house 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 we've lived in and not an apartment and so it's it's and I burned it because I was all by myself for the first time in this house and it just very comforting it was very comforting for me so I bought a, a backup which I never do because it's not not easy to find that I don't sell it all year long but I love that candle all right last thing last thing that we have this is another one of these city things. They had a, that, this sale going on. This was These were like $10. It says Seattle. Again, I've never been there. But its actual scent is white caramel. I said it right. Cold brew. Its notes are cold brew coffee, vanilla sweet cream, warm caramel drizzle, and essential oils. I, mmm. You guys are going to start putting out their fall candles here at Bath & Bunny Works really soon. But I got this on sale. So this is going to be my fall candle. It is very, very fall for me. I love sweet smelling candles, but my husband can't stand it. So I brought this one home and he liked it because it was cold brew and he actually likes that coffee smell. So we kind of compromised on that candle. So I am set on candles for a while. Is that going to stop me from buying any more that are on sale? Probably not. <laughs> now that I see how many I've got though, I might need to back off. That might have to be on my which budget. It's all going to be in my budget, but I might have to say no more candles until I've burned through these. We shall see. All right, guys, so that is it. That was my perfumes, my body sprays, my lotions, and my candle collection. I hope you enjoyed coming along this journey with me. Tell me what your favorites are. What are your favorite lotions? What are your favorite uh, perfumes you think I should eventually try? And candles. What's your favorite? Let me know. Let me know down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe before you leave, and I 